supporters outright urged his viewers to go online and Major sign Media a pledge to vote for anti-gun anti candidates. It happened. Since. Here's the tape. Oh, God. There's also a push called Parents I miss Promise MBC. to huh. Kids that encourages never, voters hashtag never to again. sign a contract so, vowing I wonder who's behind this. They're probably they all paid off by George Soros. Child safety ahead of guns. Are you I'm kidding? Two of the students well, then ban all cars. There are more people getting killed by cars. Other 3,000 students from Parkland they handpick and it, shut down and the rest we thank you all that who does not agree with their narrative. Oh, no. How long before they're like sending out directions like fly to fly around Canada? jets? Probably not long. Well, yeah. supposedly marches against thing. guns are about speaking truth to power, even we'll though they enjoy to massive that support from virtually We cannot protect ourselves. Lawmakers, oh, surrender and put our heads media, be between our legs when someone comes after us. Planet. That's what you're Decided saying. Decided to protest another issue, what though, that's not aligned with the people in power jackass who would like to take your guns away and keep them for themselves, disempower you, as it were. And see what happens if you try to challenge the uh -huh. conventional Uh-huh. Where's the First Amendment? Where's the Hades freedom of speech or Who's this moment. teacher? She teaches history at Rockland High School in California. She was placed on leave by okay, her school Rockland after High she school. questioned anti-gun walkouts and wondered what would happen if the school uh -huh. was faced with an anti-abortion protest. Would okay. they be so supportive right. of that? Because it's a phoniness. You're supposed to be uh, March for, for Our on. Lives, so which is sound I, like uh, March well, for Life, story, which is anti-abortion, which is uh, way. Uh, said, would a way the liberal love, the progressive. They, they just fund the Planned Parenthood to kill unborn children. So do they really just care like about sure lives? Were informed, Bullshit, uh, they don't. Had a premonition that they were not. Okay, so and sure lady. enough, most of them had no idea about the protest. Oh, yeah, and so oh. I gave them an overview, uh, asked them to look at it on their own. And okay. most importantly, you just mentioned parents. I said, go talk to your parents. I'm right, a parent. Right. I would want to know if right. my student decides to get up All and walk these out of are class phony, antifa, uh, buslow. No I heard from my students. Um, these Soros spend more than $296 million dollars and, um, they organizing this. It. I cannot organize a tax appeal with 10 volunteers. I did not fall in line you think this and, uh, just um, happens? No. Herd. And, uh, this demonstration was orchestrated by the globalists who want to tear our country the apart. Protest. Did they so, explain why? Are, are you, who, are you, yeah, who the fuck is the, the principal of the school? Now they should be kicked uh, there out. There was a pretext. Um, but the, to he answer said your question, they did not tell me why. They just called that. me at 8.30 in the morning. I arrive on campus at 9. They said, do not come in today. They gave me no reason why. Um, and what I kind of did asshole? Find I heard until about that. About they did that to this uh, teacher friend reporter, that I know in, in uh, door, Ventura. And she had the, the media report from my school district. So she actually informed me as to why. Um, and essentially, as it has unraveled, that apparently students and parents complained about me asking this question if there would be a possible double, double standard and um, that's that was their reasoning or justification for putting me on leave. So if, I mean, just to kind oh. of follow your analogy to oh, this conclusion, I see. that's if there how was convenient. Who? That's why we have a due process. Even even, well, if even if that's that's not even a crime. Would the school be if okay with like eighty percent of kids going to that event? Well, that's no. precisely right. the question I asked my very insightful students. I just flipped it and said, yes. what do you guys think? Right. Um, is this appropriate Why do we have to go on this one-way train that they want to direct school, you into? On a Saturday, brainwash on your own you. time. Um, and I uh -huh. said, if... if this administration or any administration throughout the country is going to basically allow and facilitate this kind of they protest. They did. They facilitate that. For a pro-life protest. Right. Um, and and they're supposed to be like, pretend to want to save lives. It's all bullshit. So it's called a march for well, our lives. Sounds like march for life, life and they are not. General. They don't care. They just want you to be you. defenseless. Defenseless. So they can turn this into a police state.